Hello, welcome to Chairside Live. I'm Megan Strong. And I'm Will Schmidt, Registered Dental Assistant here at Gladwell Dental. We're so glad you're with us today. It's an exciting appointment for Dr. Manalili's patient because she's going home with the closest representation of the final prosthesis. But this is in a PAMMA setup. What is that, Will? I tell you what, Megan, it's the $5 word of the day, polymethyl methacrylate. Now this is a shatter resistant alternative to glass that this patient is going to wear for their temporary prosthesis to make sure all the fit and functionality issues are worked out before we go to our final product. Sounds like a good plan. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the Von Karman Operatory. Today we will be inserting a polymethyl methacrylate or a PMMA provisional prosthesis. I like to think of the PMMA as a test run of the definitive Bruxer full arch. The PMMA will verify both the aesthetics and the phonetics that were previously established with the wax rim and the full arch wax setup as well as allow us to test the functionality of the tooth arrangement. Let's take a look at how we did. Before we insert the PMMA, insert the provided Tryon MUA prosthetic screws. When seating the PMMA provisional, hand tighten each screw. Like the wax setup, you should not feel resistance. If you do, make sure the top of the multi-unit abutment is clean and the screw channel is free of debris. Another reason you may feel resistance could be the soft tissue contours. Ideally, we would like the contours of the prosthesis to be such that the patient can easily keep their new smile clean. This includes a flangeless buckle contour as well as a convex intaglio surface. To check the intaglio, I find the easiest way is with a silicone material such as fit checker. This material is placed on the intaglio surface of the PMMA and then is seated intraorally. As you can see, any areas where the prosthesis is snug against the soft tissue will show through the silicone. I now mark my pressure spots with a pencil or marker, then remove the silicone material and adjust with an acrylic burr, making sure not to create any concave areas that could potentially become a food trap. Once the PMMA is seated, if you cannot visually confirm the cylinders are flush with the multi-units, Radiographic confirmation is recommended. After each screw is lightly hand tightened, I like to go back with my torque wrench and tighten each screw to the manufacturer's recommendation. For these Han multi-unit abutment prosthetic screws, we are tightening to 15 Newton centimeters. The heads of the prosthetic screws can be covered with a bacteria resistant material such as PTFE or Teflon tape and then covered with a light cured composite. Now that the PMMA is fully seated, let's go ahead and quickly run through our checklist. Confirm the midline and incisal edge position. Evaluate the patient's smile, lip support, the contour of the smile line, and the pink to white ratio. You want to sit the patient upright and verify the vertical dimension as well as the occlusion. Any noted adjustments to the occlusion can easily be performed in the PMMA material. The biggest benefit of allowing the patient to wear this provisional for two to four weeks is that they have the opportunity to test the functionality before proceeding to the definitive Bruxer prosthesis. Lastly, review the oral hygiene instructions with your patient. For home care, I personally recommend the use of floss threaders as well as a water pick. It is important to note that if the PMMA prosthesis was altered in any way, the lab will need to know exactly what changes were made. The best and easiest way to communicate this to the lab will be to remove the altered PMMA after the trial period and send it back to Glidewell. From here, the laboratory will copy mill the modified provisional, ensuring the definitive Bruxer full arch prosthesis will include all of your modifications. With that, we conclude our PMMA appointment. Thank you for joining me today in Glidewell's operatory. Tune in to our next visit to see the delivery of our definitive full arch Bruxer prosthesis. Well, thank you so much for that, Dr. Manalili. Now stay tuned for the next episode. We're going to see the final delivery of the Bruxer full arch fixed implant prosthesis. It's gonna be a great one, but hey, do you wanna earn some free CE credit? I know I sure do. Well, then you should head over to glidewelldental.com and take Dr. Resnick's course, Principles of Implant Occlusion, part one. Spoiler alert, implants are not teeth. They're not, so head on over, take the course. But on for today's episode, we're all wrapped up. On behalf of everyone here at Glidewell Dental, thank you so much for watching. And we'll meet you right back here next time.